The transition to cloud native practices is now well underway in the telecom sector. And to understand more about some of the key trends, I'm talking today with Mark Longwell, who is Director of Alliances for the Hybrid Platform Business Unit at Red Hat. Mark, very good to see you again. How do you see the ecosystem developing to meet the evolving needs of operators and customers? Well, I see it from two perspectives. Right? We're seeing the need for a cloud computing platform that can support all types of workloads, including virtual machines, containers, bare metal nodes running network functions, and of course, AI ML. OpenShift Container Platform has been a, a very good job of having solutions for all these opportunities. For example, things such as single node OpenShift or SNOW as an acronym is a way to take OpenShift and make it we're skinning it up a little bit, right? To bring it further and further out to the edge to run these container-based workloads. And we see our partners evolving with us in that direction also from running workloads on-prem on OpenShift or other platforms to running OpenShift workloads on hyperscaler platforms, i.e. to take a RAN workload, for example, run it on OpenShift on Azure or on uh, um, Amazon Web Services. So we're seeing our partners at the same time migrating their workloads to not just be virtual machines, but over to containers and not just to run on-prem, but also to run on top of OpenShift on the hyperscaler platform such as AWS and Microsoft Azure. And with all this activity, in, in what ways is Red Hat supporting its customers to take advantage of the most competitive solutions in the market? Red Hat offers customers and partners labs to certify CNF workloads through our efforts with Intel. So we have a lab built in New Mexico here in the US where we bring CNF partner workloads on to test them onto OpenShift. And we can go into greater details if needed, but basically we're running high level tests, confirming that the CNF runs on top of OpenShift so when the service provider brings that CNF in-house, there's greater confidence and comfort that the CNF workload will work as prescribed. So with regard to these workloads, as you talk to the market, as you talk to your customers, what are some of the key workloads that they are requesting be available in a cloud native way? Without a doubt, the two big workloads we're seeing, the monster workloads out there are 5G core and RAN, right? So what we're seeing is our main one, the folks that have done the most certifications on OpenShift are the 5G core. That being said, we're working with all the RAN vendors also. So you can put any RAN vendor in there you want, Ericsson, Nokia, Mavenir, Altiostar, others. We are working with them in these labs that I mentioned to have their RAN workloads tested on OpenShift in production load environments so customers, once again, can be comfortable. We're also seeing load balancers, firewalls. Um, we'll see, we've seen a few AI ML apps that's becoming more prevalent in the telco space. And I'm sure this year, over the next 12 months, we're gonna see a lot of mech or mobile access edge computing uh, workloads and platforms that we'll wanna have out there, out on the edge running on top of OpenShift that will also be doing certifications on. So all in all, once again, just to recap, it's RAN and 5G core are the big workloads, but we are certainly have a uh, right across the board, load balancers, firewalls, AI ML and MEC. That's good to hear, Mark. And, and from a customer standpoint, what are the top things they should be thinking about and the most important questions that they need to ask vendors as they look at developing their cloud native strategies? I'll answer in the context of a Red Hat standpoint that relates to OpenShift and OpenStack. We are extremely successful. We have market leadership with OpenStack and VNFs. Over the past few years, we have seen the migration of the market from virtual machines to containers and more specifically cloud native. And that's now OpenShift is now the market leading Kubernetes platform being adopted by CSPs. The CSP should be asking their vendors, are they truly cloud native? Are the CNFs that they're looking to bring in house built from the ground up to be cloud native or are they repackaging virtual machines as containers as a short term solution? We feel that for full cloud native capabilities running as containers with operators or Helm charge providing lifecycle management, it is most beneficial for those workloads that the service provider is asking their vendors to supply to be built from a cloud native perspective, i.e. built from the ground up with cloud in mind and not repackaging 
old virtual machines or putting wrappers around virtual machines and calling them containers. Marcus, good to talk to you again. Thanks very much for joining us on the program today. Thank you very much, Guy. Talk to you very soon.